Hey everybody, um, today I wanted to kind of talk about where I am in my surgery journey, um, why I chose the doctor that I chose, um, so everyone can kind of have this journey with me. Um, I started looking into getting a plastic surgery done hmm, probably years ago, um, but I really was ready to go after I had my last baby. Um, so it's my surgery date um, is in actually 21 days. Um, I'm going to the Dominican to have surgery with Dr. Medina. Um, kind of getting tired of all the, why are you going to the Dominican? All the crazy stories that you hear and just, no. There's crazy stories everywhere. There's crazy doctors everywhere. It's my choice and I want that rocking DR body and some of these doctors here aren't going to give it to me. Um, so kind of just start from the beginning, why did I choose uh, Dr. Medina? Um, well, Daria Medina, as they put it in the DR. Um, some people automatically go, let's look at deaths, let's do this. You know, yes, death is a factor in why I chose her. She has no deaths that anybody has ever found. <laughs> um, but some doctors do have deaths, but that doesn't mean that they were bad doctors. Um, some of the complications that happened were out of the doctor's control. Um, there's been girls that have lied about, you know, their medical history and you just, you can't do that. It's not safe. And that's what was the result was, you know, lying about what they were taking or, you know, conditions that they had. And then they had a complication and the death happened with the doctor. That doesn't mean they were a bad doctor. Things just happen. Um, but one of my main reasons for choosing her is one, she's, dual certified. So she is US board certified plastic surgeon and she is a certified plastic surgeon by the Dominican standards. Um, so that was one thing that really captured my attention on her. The list of certifications for her is very long. She is a doctor who is consistently um, stacking on to her education, uh, bettering herself. I've been following her on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook for a very long time. And you can always see that she's at different um, seminars that are going on, learning better techniques. And the last one I saw, she was learning how to help uh, bypass patients to do, you know, skin removal surgery to get the best results. Um, the second thing is, yes, I want that great body, but I want a realistic great body and I want to be safe. Some girls will go to doctors because they will take that unrealistic look and really push for it and put your life in danger um, to give you that that look that you want right away. Sometimes you can't do that. And some girls like, oh, Medina, she's, you know, she's not going to give me that snatched waist I want. I want to do it in one round, not two. Uh, she tries to go more natural. Well, she does. Um, she's realistic. She is not going to take a size 16 and force you down to a size 8 in one surgery and risk something happening. Um, so safety is something that she pushes all the time. Um, I've seen so many girls where Medina has been like, no, you know, this, it's not going to happen right now. You know, you might be able to get a second round, but she is not afraid to tell her patients no um, for their safety. Some doctors, you know, I know that they have that reputation and I know that the horror stories are true that, you know, money talks and, oh, well, you know, she's going to give me this much money. So, oh, I can do this and I can do this and stacking on procedures um, that aren't safe for you. So that's one thing that um, really stuck out to me is safety because, you know, I have kids and I want to have this amazing body that I've always wanted. But I also want to come home and be alive and not, you know, have anything happen to me. So that was a huge thing. She's very safe. She's consistently pushing safety, that safety is first. Um, she's not going to be afraid to tell me no if I'm asking for something that's not realistic. Um, yes, she does do bigger BMIs. Um, some doctors are very strict. She wants your BMI to be under 35. So... Thankfully, um, I'm right at that mark. <laughs> I'm short. I'm barely five one and a half, and I'm gonna take that half. <laughs> so um, I'm a bigger girl because I'm short. So I carry my weight differently. 
Um, when I do my BMI, I don't just do the paper BMI. I actually had um, a trainer give me a real BMI by measuring with the fat calibers um, to be true to it because some girls like me, we are very short. We carry our weight differently. So we may put a BMI on and, you know, it's not really true to what our fat percentage is. So I'm, you know, right where I need to be. Um, since booking my surgery with Medina, I booked with her in April. I've lost 35 pounds. Um, the first thing that she told me when I gave her, when we did uh, our quote was that I needed to lose weight. Um, so to back check on how you do your quotes with Medina, um, you contact her through her WhatsApp. And what that is, it's just an app that you download and it can, um, you can talk to almost all the doctors in the Dominican through that app. So you can call them, you can message them, um, and talk directly. So to another point of why I chose Medina, she's very quick to respond. Um, a lot of girls talk about different doctors that they want and um, it takes a quite a long time to get quotes from them. They're waiting, you know, days, weeks to get responses back. Um, with Medina, the day I sent my pictures, I had a response back within two hours. And since then, I have messaged her multiple times because I have lots of questions that need to be answered. I had gotten a response from her that day, whether it be within a few hours or that night. If she's not responding to me, her medical assistant's responding to me. So that was very comforting to know that I have a doctor that I can get a hold of right away if I have any questions or concerns. So that is one of the, the second biggest reasons. So number one, of course, was the safety factor. Um, she's not going to push me to do something that I'm not ready for. And if my labs are not where they need to be or my body's not where it needs to be, she will tell them though, which sometimes no sucks, but safety first. Two, she's very responsive. I want to know that on my way there, I can talk to her. And when I come back from the Dominican, if I have any issues or complications that arise when I'm home, I can contact her, her office and I will get a response back instead of getting the run around like some other doctors, um, you know, where you have to just wait and wait and wait. I don't want that. I want to have a doctor I can contact with. Um, so for the consultation, what she asked for, you know, to send her pictures. Um, so she looks at your pictures. You, she, I will ask you some questions, you know, what your weight is, what's your, your current BMI, um, and she'll let you know what she's able to do for you. Um, so from what I've heard from a lot of girls that have seen her, she's not real big on looking at all these wish pictures and all that stuff because she's realistic. She's going to tell you what she can do for you. Um, because, you know, obviously all of us are going to go in there and I want this and I want this tiny waist like Nicki Minaj and I want this big booty like Kim Kardashian. And it's just, it's not realistic. So she is very upfront with, yes, I can do that. No, I can't do that. Yes, I can do this for you. Um, so she told me that she would be able to give me, um, the natural waist that I want. Um, I've had four kids, so of course I have that low tummy apron. My first uh, baby was a C-section, so I had that skin that hangs down. Um, so she was able to tell me that we could do the tummy tuck with muscle repair, um, the lipo around the flanks area, um, and a BBL. But this, all these procedures are dependent on your hemoglobin levels. So when she replies back, she tells you what she can do, but then she also sends a very long quote. So she'll quote your price. Um, then she'll also put in her requirements. So um, your medical requirements, do you have any conditions? This is what we um, expect. Your hemoglobin is the biggest deal breaker um, for you for your surgery. So when she messaged me back, for just a tummy tuck and muscle repair, your hemoglobin has to be a 12. If you want more procedures like the BBL or more liposuction, your hema has to be higher. So if I remember correctly, in order to have um, the two procedures, it needed to be 13. And then uh, two or more it had it to be 14 or higher. Um, so she really pushes to uh, start taking your iron supplement. She sends you a list, you know, when did start taking iron, um, what other supplements she wants you to start taking. And, um, you know, when you get closer to your surgery date, what not to start taking, um, you know, like certain vitamins that help thin your blood out. You don't want to be taking those weeks before surgery because obviously we don't want that to happen. Um, so like I said, she's very detailed, um, on my quote, her expectations. Um, she did tell me, you know, I needed to lose weight, which I've been working really hard to do. 
Um, because also if you get your weight down, that lowers your chance of complications. If you start going to the gym and doing cardio, you know that just it's healthier for you and then it helps you heal faster. Um, I've been following tons of Facebook groups and it always is, you know, girls who started working out before who are in a pretty healthy before surgery, they healed a lot better. Um, if you're very sedentary, um, you don't do much, you know, recovery is going to be pretty hard on your body because your body, you know, doesn't have what it needs to, you know, heal faster. So um, I got my quote, booked my surgery. By the way, if you are looking at Medina, you need to book now. Um, when I first looked at her, I was trying to get in in October and I needed to wait a couple extra days to get my deposit because she asked for a $500 deposit. It is non-refundable. So um, you can change your dates with the deposit, but you can't cancel and get your money back. And that's with all doctors, that deposit's non-refundable. Um, so I needed to send that deposit, but I had to wait a couple days uh, to get the money that I needed. I waited a week, got her again. Oh, I'm ready to book my date. Sorry, she had already been booked through November. So my date that I originally wanted was like October the 16th or 17th I was looking at. And I got my, the only date she had available next was November 27th. And mind you, this was back in April that I was talking to her and she was already booked for November. Um, she's already, from what I've seen, the girls that have talked to her recently, she's already booking almost the summertime in 2018. So she is very sought after. She fills up quickly. So if you want her, get on it. Don't wait. Um, you know, reach out to her and see, you know, what she can do for you. Um, so yeah, I'm going with Medina where I am right now in my journey. I already, I got my labs first done. I think it was the first week of August. Um, my hemoglobin was already a 13.1. Um, I have been taking a supplement from Vitamin Code called uh, Blood Raw. And what it is, it's not only a iron supplement, it has a lot of other vitamins that are meant to make your blood overall healthy, to get that oxygen up, to make your body produce those red blood cells that it needs. It is an overall blood vitamin, um, not just the iron that you need and also if you are taking iron by itself make sure that you are taking it with a vitamin c supplement um vitamin c helps that iron work together get absorbed in your body do all its stuff um one of the reasons why i looked at the blood raw was iron by itself it makes you constipated it does i'm sorry everyone's gotta talk about it i didn't want that in this blood raw doesn't do that. It's not hot on your stomach. You don't have to take it, you know, with food. It's a really easy supplement. It's cheap. I bought it on Amazon. I think I paid like 12 or $15 for the bottle. And I think there's like a hundred tabs in it. Um, so that's what I've been taking. It's working great. Um, so like I said, I was at 13.1 in August. Um, I'm actually going later this week to get my blood drawn again, since I'm just a couple weeks out from surgery. Um, to see where I'm at. So hopefully I'm around 14 or 15 because I really want all my procedures and I want to be the healthiest that I can be when I get there. Um, also, sh Dr. Medina will send you um, a list of medications that she wants you to have with you. You can either A, wait to get this the medications when you get to the DR and pay. I think she said it was about $150 for all of them. That includes, you know, your injections for your blood thinners because you're going to take that to reduce blood clots some antibiotics, um, a couple other things I can uh, put the list on at the bottom. Um, she sends that to you, but if you take that to your PCP here, um, if you have a good supportive doctor, they can write you um, the prescriptions for that. So your insurance can cover it and you don't have to worry about paying for it down there if your insurance covers it. So I'm going to go take my list, um, see what I can, uh, all the meds she can get, if she can do it for me. Hopefully my insurance covers most of them. And, um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, like I said, going to see a doctor, getting those labs done, um, trying to keep losing more weight like I can. I really want to make sure that um, I follow and explain everything to everybody because one of the biggest issues is when you're looking to have surgery, especially in the Dominican, 
you want information and it seems like it's kind of hard to find where you need it to be, especially for, you know, traveling abroad. Um, there's a couple Facebook groups out there that have been really helpful. DR Snatch Me was one of them. Uh, Snatched Abroad is one that has a lot of girls that have gone not just to the Dominican, but to Colombia, to uh, Tijuana. And, you know, so there's tons of information. And let's see here. Just a second. I have to pause real quick. Mommy duty calls. Wait. Oh, she's good. Sorry, my daughter on the monitor. Okay, so those groups have really helped. But, yeah, I will let everybody know what happens at the doctor's office coming up. Um, I'll do another video soon to talk about recovery houses that um, I have been looking at and where I'm booked. And, um let everyone travel with me and let's see what happens. Surgery date's November 27th, so getting excited. All right, ladies, um, I will make another video soon and uh, hit the subscribe button so you can uh, see how my journey's going.